Welcome back. Uh, still with us is Samuel James Pato. He's the National Program Manager of Federation of Liberian Youth, uh, FLY, and also the Coordinator of Youth Election Situation Room uh, of Liberia. Uh, Samuel James Pato, thank you for your time. Uh, what's your rating, your assessment of the conduct of the run of elections uh, in Liberia? Of course, this is holding after uh, there was no clear winner in the general ele elections held to you know, elect Ni Liberia's next president. Well, thank you very much for that. And um, I can say the election was very peaceful. And um, we saw a considerable, very low turnout on the overall. Um, the turnout wasn't as massive as we had expected and as we saw in the first round of elections where the elections were very, very peaceful um, for turnout to vote. There were no very critical incidents um, reported today or seen today from our observers in the field. And um, right now, as we speak to you, Coalition sorting and counting you know, is taking place you know, across 99.9% um, .9 of the different um, um, polling precincts across the country. And um, tomorrow we'll be waiting for the National Elections Commission to give us the yeah, preliminary press briefing. Uh, but we can tell you that um, we will have the final results um, sooner you know, than expected. Interesting. Uh, Samuel, the Election Commission had stated that collation of voting will begin on Wednesday, uh, while results will be announced later in the day. From your uh, observation, where is the pendulum swinging, or in which direction would you say the pendulum is swinging towards? Well, it's too early to call um, from preliminary reports we see from the field, and I mean these are unofficial results. It is a very, very, very tightly contested process. Um, we see um, the opposition ruling unit, the opposition unit, the party um, gaining momentum in her strongholds, as well as the ruling coalition, the democratic um, 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 change, gaining momentum in her strongholds. So um, the both political parties and candidates are both gaining momentum from what from the results that are coming in so far. And um, it is early to say where it will swing. But um, from now to tomorrow morning, we might have a fair appreciation on what exactly the results might look like, but we'll still look up to the National Elections Commission because only them have the power to announce and tell us who exactly or who indeed in line with the law won the elections. But it was very peaceful. And I think so far in terms of um, electoral handling and in, like, in terms of um, elections, I think Liberia has set a new bar. Um, the Elections Commission has been very, very, you know, credible and very, very impartial so far. And um, we're, we're hoping that, you know, a lot of other countries can use the case of Liberia in terms of elections conduct. But so far, nothing out of the normal has been reported. Um, we're seeing um, one of the most peaceful elections ever, you know, in our history as we continue to strive for improved democracy in Liberia. Samuel, I tell you what, um, since the conduct of the first round of voting the initial presidential election uh, observers from nigeria including prominent nigerian political and social leaders who were in liberia uh, to observe those elections uh, have come back home and you know nigeria has had elections this year and on saturday conducted some they've been having nothing short of high praise for the conduct of the liberian elections pointing to liberia Liberia has a success story that Nigeria needs to emulate. So you guys need to give yourself a big pat on the shoulder. How did Liberia achieve this? Well, I think essentially, um, one thing I must really commend um, um, the, the government for is the level of political tolerance. And the fact that um, there comes a point in time where nations and governments must allow the citizens to express themselves in a very, very free, fair, and impartial way. So um, no political prisoners were taken. Of course, um, it is a long way from 100%, but the government um, tried not to, you know, hammer down, you know, on various, you know, political positions. They allowed demonstrations. They allow, you know, freedom of this freedom of press, freedom to express yourself, freedom to articulate the different issues and. Um, the international community also played a key role in ensuring that um, the National Elections Commission and um, other 
national bodies in charge of um, managing the elections did well. This is the first time in Liberia's history that our own joint security managed the elections, and there were no very crucial, um, you know, election issues. So um, it's not just um, Liberia, but it's a collective effort of the citizens who have been peaceful. It's a collective work of civil society that continuously watch over the process. It's a continuous um, collaboration of you know, the Ministry of Justice, the Liberal National with the Joint Security. And of course, the National Elections Commission that told, promised the Liberian court that they were going to be nothing but impartial. They didn't just say that, but they demonstrated that from what we've seen so far. Right. And we're hoping that for now to the announcement of the final results, that consistency right. is going to be there. But right. other than that, um, we can we can say for sure that um, right. Liberia- Sa Samuel, thank you so much. We have to leave it at that, but we uh, look forward to a peaceful conclusion uh, of uh, the electoral process and, of course, swearing in of the next president uh, of Liberia. Thank you very much for being with us through this process, and we surely will have you again on our programs. Thank you.